So two o'clock, I'm on another excursion. Uh, so I'm so close to the ice cage, I decided I'd give that a try. So it's handicap accessible. Apparently the is uh, washed out or blown out or something. So I'm gonna see if uh, maybe there's a way to just cross the creek or the river or whatever. So. If you can hear that screaming behind me, it's a family with uh, three boys. The boys are pretty sure that they're Sasquatches. So they are doing their best Sasquatch impressions. And uh, pretty convincing. So this uh, trail is, uh, I think it's less than a mile. Uh, but, uh, and I took a picture, I think I saw the ice caves when I was driving down the other uh, road that I was on. So I'm gonna see if I can get to them today. And if not, it'll be a good, uh, neat place to bring my wife when she has time and the bridge is fixed. So that water's pretty deep. It's crossable. My feet are already soaked. I don't really think it's gonna be much different to get them uh, totally soaked. There's somebody over there. All right, so this is it. Some trash down there. So I think I'm going to go downstream and cross over there where it's shallow. And just head up like all the other people have seemed to have done. Looks like somebody has fashioned a bridge. <laughs> uh, or the rock at least. I didn't even get my feet any wetter. Hello, Sasquatch. Yeah, it's easy. Feels like the AC is on high right now. It's totally raining underneath here. There's somebody's gear over there. I don't have a flashlight. That was cool. So it's dark in there, pretty big. That's the biggest one for sure uh, that I've been to at least. And uh, there's uh, gets uh, darker, wetter, and the rocks get bigger as you get deeper in there. <laughs> 